M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. This is the Alance GMRS radio that comes receive only for VHF and UHF. Now there is more info on making this transmit on the ham radio bands, but that's for a separate video. But of course this is the GMRS radio and you need to buy a license to use it in the USA. And then you can stay within your license conditions. So the basics, now I'm listening to actually a ham radio frequency here. It's, it's a very, very good audio. One of the best I've heard for a budget radio. In the USA, I believe these are about $60. It's a very solid set. Nice big PTT programmable button on the side here. Full keypad. Quite an unusual menu style. If you look here, press menu. And you've got radio setting zone channel scan settings signaling emergency core tone fm radio weather setting factory reset and then the exit button here takes you back to this menu and when you see it in green people are talking so hopefully someone will speak now there you go and it's gone green now it's a gmrs radio at the moment we're in VFO mode. If we hold down the exit button, we go into channel mode. Now let's choose our GMRS zone. So you have zones and there is software where you can add more zones and modify. So if you just go menu, go down to zone, select, and then we can select all channels or we can go to zone one. Press menu, select zone, and again, and then when you exit, you'll see on the screen, it's quite hard to see in that dark blue, but it says zone one here. You can see the battery indicator there as well. But at the moment, we've got the A-band highlighted. It's a nice bright screen. I'm not sure if that shows out here. Um, but anyway, we've got the A-band highlighted in green. It's, gr it's green because someone's talking. And if we press the, the star button here, just briefly, it will take us to the B band, let's call it. It's dual monitor, so it can monitor two at the same time, but you will only hear one. Go back A and B. If you hold it, it will start to scan. Hold the little scan button. And it starts to scan. And just hold again to exit. At the bottom, we've got the lock button here. Obviously, if you hold it, it locks, but if you briefly press it, it takes you to single screen, which I think is pretty cool. You can change frequency just going up and down with the buttons. If you try and transmit on a ham radio frequency, it will give you the warning and say TX not permitted because the GMRS radio has the screw in USB connector there and microphone and has very advanced uh, software. We'll be learning the software, but it is quite quite advanced. But it works fine. Big LED, you can see the channel knob and SMA antenna and removable battery, USB-C charging, 2,800 milliamp hour battery. Has broadcast radio. Press the menu, go up to FM radio, Select, and there you are. Now it's select to turn it on. Now what they say is that when you change the increments, it goes up by 2 megahertz. If you want it to just scan, they say just hold it down. So I like radio 4. So if we turn it on with the green button, and then hold it up, it should find... Let's do that again. Your favourite radio station there. I'm not sure that's working. <laughs> Otherwise, you could re pre program it. Oh, actually, it found something there. That's one of my favourite ones. They're back in the driving seat, aren't they? Yeah, so look, they've got the new ball, and what they're going to be hoping, uh, you know, with the ball, it has a sort Just of. hold it down. The top. Let go. The Vovas, they're hoping it may start swinging, and if that does happen. I suppose it did find and search, but it still looks like it's 2 megahertz. And then exit. You've got the weather channels. Oh, we need to turn the radio off. 
There you are. Select for off. Let's have a look at the weather setting. Weather alarm down one. NOAA channels. You've got them. So you go up and down the weather channels. And then we, we will do menus, setting emergency channels, but the basics are there. If you go menu, then go up to channel. You can make some changes there. Channel settings, select. You've got VFO A and B. You can put the name in. You can set the bandwidth. And let's just select receive frequency, type of frequency, you know, within GMRS. If I put in a ham one, 145, it just means I won't be able to transmit. Press twice and exit. It's there and you can set your tone and things like that. Select the zone again, we go menu, up to zone settings, select. Actually, let's go, let's go to all. Like so, then exit, and then we'll hold. We'll go to channel mode. So we're in VFO at the moment. Hold down to channel, which is the exit. Just hold it down, and then we can start flicking through all the different channels. At the moment, you're just seeing the frequency. If we go menu, radio setting, hit select them with the green button. And then up to display mode, menu, go to channel name or channel. So let's try channel. Exit there. It says channel 12, look. I wonder if that will scan. Let's hit scan. Yeah, it is scanning through the channels. Exit. Let's hold down scan again. This time we'll choose name. Menu, then exit. GMRS channels. This is these are all the presets now. You've got your GMRS. And then it starts to go to channels and it also says repeater. So look at the software, what you'd like to use. But primarily, it's sold as a GMRS radio. If you want to set the backlight, go menu, radio setting, down to backlight, key it, and then you can change the, you know, the time if you set zero, and then the brightness, you you actually ch turn the knob. See, I'm, I'm turning the knob. Not sure why changing the brightness gave it, made it receive something. That's a bit strange. Does it also change the frequency at the same time, I bet? But anyway, that's your brightness and your timeout. And you select it at the bottom, then exit with the red exit button. Got band setting here. Band A and B. Yeah, so if you deselect one and then exit, it, you go into single mode again as well. Let's try the... Oh, look at that. It does take you to A and B with the scan button. Each button has an item written on it. Frequency step, timeout, tone, ETC. So let's just try one. We'll go menu, then six. Takes me to emergency. So how about if we hold down tone? Do you hear that? Hmm. CT, CT, CSS. Ah, that worked. So basically, if you hold down the TX power, high and low, hold down wide and narrow. So that does work. Step. Sorry, it's not very clear. Five kilohertz. 
ETC. If you hold another one, will it go straight to it? No, so you have to go back first. All right, let's do the timeout. And you've got always allow as well. So it's gonna rain here. Sorry about that, I'm trying to stop the reflection. All right, let's do the save one. That saves a memory channel, so let's go to VFO. Looks like we're in that already. And then we're gonna hold down number eight. Hmm, power save, so it's not memory save. Monitor should be your turning the squelch off, which it did. Vox, lock, we, we've seen lock, scan, I think we've done them all. Okay, well I think we've covered most of it. Signaling, it's gonna be your tone, oh it's got DTMF here. That you can program common settings, PTID and decode setting. Actually, starting to rain here. Scan settings, channel settings. Oh, yeah, let's try a, an existing one. GMRS number one. And you can actually, it looks like you, well, let's see if you can change it. Um. To try and remember it. No. So they are presets. That's all your GMRS. Look, when you go into channel, this is where you can start tweaking things. And there's a lot of software as well. Hopefully, I haven't missed anything. I mean, I'm I'm in the UK. We don't have GMRS. So uh, I just thought I'd do this overview. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I think it's a nice solid set and it's, I think it's well priced as well. 7-3 all the best.